All right, everyone. I want to welcome you back, or welcome you in if you're new. Um, got a little bit of a special treat here over. Oh, between yesterday and today. Uh, very long nights, a total of like 11 hours in the shipbuilder trying to figure this out. Um, there are a couple of, you know, flip, flip, cancel and duplications that, you know, rendered the result of what you see here. But, um, <clears throat> overall, I'm pretty proud of it. I mean, I, I still might switch up some of the weapons after this, you know, take off the lasers, put on some PBOs. Um, I may even gut the center section of it and put some class C, you know, reactor and grav drive in here or just class C reactor with a B grav drive and, um, you know, just for a little extra power and to use the extra kick that you get from the class C weapons. Um, cause if you've seen my UN UNSC, um, Falcon sweep video, um, I do have a variant of that that uses, it takes up the center space. So there's a Fuser DC-403 class C reactor in there. And then, um, oh, I forget which grav drive I used, but that was also class C. And then I took off the DT-160s. I put on Poseidon DT-230s, left the, the, what are they, the SA-4330s on there, put class C weapons on it. And holy crap, the weapon damage and, you know, how quickly I obliterate things with class C. Anyway, um, this is, it's not completely exploded because, um, there's a lot going on with this. Um, uh, but this is, I call it my Batwing MK7. Um, I think it still says MKVI. Actually, no, this would be, this would be, uh, MK8. I've gone ahead and revised and messed with this thing so many times over the past two days. It's, it's, oh my God. Anyway, um, I guess I'm going to start with the bottom layer here. All of this mess. Um, initially when I made this, I wasn't looking at any references. Um, and I finally pulled up some bat wing pictures from like 1980s and 1990s and I was like, okay, you know, these look old and dated. Maybe I'll make something that's a little more techy, a little more like modern. And, um, now eventually I came up with, you know, what you're about to see as the end result. <sighs> but, uh, I'll get started on the bottom layer here. Um, I didn't start with any of these. Uh, this stuff came after, um, I'll set this to the side for now. But where I started with all this was obviously, you know, the ship bed 200 landing bay. Um, I use this quite often. I find it to be the most convenient simply because got that hatch right there. You know, you can build a low ship. Um, you don't have to have these wild high leg or long leg um, landing gears on it. But anyway, uh, the, sh <laughs> the ship bed 200 landing bay. Um, I, I chose, what was it? Stroud for the bottom, Deimos for the top. But um, we're doing a Stroud workshop two by one attached to our ship bed landing bay. Um, and I was like, okay. Well, I was initially going to put like, Someone else put like two wings here and then the habs, but you couldn't access them. They had just a single, I don't know. I didn't like any of the other designs I saw and I just picked up pictures of a bat wing and I made this thing the way I wanted it. But anyway, uh, ship bed landing bay 200. Did a Stroud workshop here. And, you know, I did the attachment method this way, you know, left trigger, right trigger A. I'll go to Habs and see, um, you know, how they would attach and what would work with it, what wouldn't. See, like something like that. If I was saying, okay, I want to Stroud all in one berth A next to the workshop, that didn't work. Um, I just cycled through 
the Habs until I found, you know, something like this that would just sit right. So eventually we ended up workshop, you know, and to our right is going to be captain's quarters, right? Um, this didn't exist yet. I'll show you all how to do that in a little bit. Um, I was using companion ways, but it was driving me up a wall because it was just putting ladders like one here to the Deimos companion way on top and then another one here to the Deimos companion way on the top. Then it would put another ladder here and one here and I don't know. It was just, it was zigzagging me everywhere. So I opted for a lot of Nova cross passages. So we went from workshop, captain's quarters, Nova cross passage, right? To force a door here because we already have hatch here and hatch here from the workshop on either side. Um, because of how many habs or cross braces that you're going to see I used in this. Uh, workshop, captain's quarters, Nova cross passage to a science lab. Okay, the other side is going to be from workshop to our Stroud computer core 2x1. Another Nova cross passage. Remember, the mass is 4, but I would prefer to keep mass down. Um, and that cross passage goes to the Stroud infirmary. Okay. Now, I built this thing all over the place, so it's going to be all over the place. Um, but I'll, I'll keep it simple for this sake. Um, I didn't add this stuff yet. So from here, I spun around to the back. And I was looking at how I wanted the engines to be laid out. Because initially I didn't have this engine here. It was on top of here. Or it was on top of the next layer, like over here. I didn't like the way that was working out. Because if you look at like the tail of this... There's a tail and it's supposed to curve up, down, back up, down, back up, down again and around. So like that sort of deal, you know? So I was like, all right, well, I got a gap here. So no, I needed landing gear. So I put one right here. Um, these have several variants. So if I hit Y, you know, it's off starboard. Y again, it's port. Um, and why one more time it's just center block so that would be great for you know the very bottom of this like toward the body um, and I dropped an engine here now these have several variants the SA 4330s um, you can flip these up these are so many different ways have it flat that way it flips to normal so this will be like this side and then it flips again to the other side where you can fit it here. Uh, flips again. And again. I chose this angle. Just because I, I had a weird vision. After I put it all together, I took the engines off and I flipped them around to be this. For the overall aesthetic. And you'll see like this one is curving outward toward the side wing. This one's curving inward to create kind of a point. So definitely take note of those, how the engines are. Just because um, this was very tedious to try to figure out. Okay, so behind our captain's quarters, we're going to have an Aurora 13G grav drive. Remember, this is class B. All right. Um, now behind the workshop, I initially had two of these. But it was a bit heavy. So behind the workshop. Demos hole A. Alright. And then behind that. We have our 500T HE3 tank. Just one. Then behind our computer core. We have our 104DS. Mag inertial reactor. Class B. Now behind our fuel tank. We're going to have a. Uh, Aculander, I almost said Stroud Bracer, they look similar. The yeah, Aculander 11, you know, the center block. Then attached to that, at the very back, our Nova Cowling 2. 
bottom aft. This has several variants. Top aft, bottom aft, bottom four, top four. Oh, you see that you have your middles. So I opted for bottom aft. Boom. <clears throat> now between the computer core and the infirmary, we're gonna have another Aculander 11 landing gear. Not the starboard or port four, but the block. Because again, this has ugh, this has several variants. Bang. And then no, the attached to our reactor is gonna be another 4330 engine. Uh, we use six of these on this build. Or I used. I'm not working with anybody else. I don't know why I keep saying we. Uh, it's just me doing all this solo rendering, editing, recording. Uh, mic setup, troubleshooting if I have issues. I'm a one man band here. Um, but anyway, this one is going to be a curved out aesthetic. So, I mean, when you first get these engines to come out like this, they're going to have to select it and keep flipping it until you get that variant. So for this side, I'll count it for you. Whoops. All right. So one, two, three. So this one gets flipped three times behind the reactor. Now attached to our Aculander between our computer core and infirmary, we've got another one. So again, that's going to get flipped one, two, three, four times. Now, yeah, this one will get flipped four times. This one will get flipped three times. So the one behind our grav drive or flips the one behind our Aculander between the captain's quarters and science lab. That's three. So Three, four, four, three, I believe. Let's see, let's test my theory here. The memorization is probably garbage. One, two, three. Yep, three. We'll test this one once more. One, two, three, four. Yep, four, three, four, three, I think. Go ahead and test that. One, two, three, four. Yep. What is it? Four, three, four, three, <laughs> four, three, four, three, three, four, three, four. However you want to memorize it. If you want. Um, I didn't have a really good place to hide the shield, but I chose the 44 T or 1035 shield just because the 28 was going to consume too much power and I needed more to be able to reload the weapons. Oh, you know, some of these weapons are magazine fed, so you need to have more power into them so they reload faster. Um, so on and so forth. Anyway, next to our infirmary, we're going to have an Aculander 11 gear starboard. Just remember they have variants. Port, lock, Starboard. Okay, now in front of the landing gear, Stroud Cap A, starboard four bottom. When you buy these, they're this way, starboard four top. You gotta flip, 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 attach. Now it has a variant because you only get them the four variant, so you gotta flip to the aft and it'll come out like this so flip 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 and then attach it'll be the very same thing on this side except we'll have a landing gear port and port four bottom and port aft bottom for the stroud cap a okay now so I didn't have this gap at the bottom. You could leave it if you want, but I couldn't stand it. So grab a Deimos hole, drop it on top of the Aculander 11. 
Let's see, duplicate one up, duplicate another, and put it uh, down. Let's test this. No, it's going to have to be one top. So select the bottom, select the bottom, duplicate, drop it. Now it's covering that cross passage. So I'm going to select these and pull them out of the way. Yeah, there'll be a Deimos hull in here. You can just pull the landing gear out of the way and then delete it. Put the landing gear back. But I did that also on this side. Yeah, I have a hole already, so attach it here. Select the front. Select the bottom Deimos hole because you always want to have two. Because if I select the top and I hit Y, well, it duplicated down, but usually it's select bottom, select bottom, duplicate, hit A to place. You can just pull this. Amos hole and delete it. So now that cross passage is hidden, uh, somewhat hidden by a uh, Deimos hole just duplicated down. All right. Um, I don't want to get to the weapons yet. All right. So the Nova Cowling one L's, you know, I have a habit of using those a lot because I mean, I, I guess like they gave the overall aesthetic that I'm looking for overall. Um, I think normally when you buy them, they are the SF or Starboard 4. Um, just click that, hit right on the D-pad, you'll get Starboard Middle. And drop that on the side of the workshop. Uh, same thing goes for Fort Mid, the Nova Cowling 1L. Boom, right next to the workshop. The only available attachment at the front on the sides. Okay. Now we're going to grab two Deimos wings, wing A starboard and flip it to wing A port or it's wing A port and flip to starboard. One of these on either side of our ship bed 200 landing bay. And before I go over all the weapons, that's, that's the bottom. So again, ship bed 200 landing bay, workshop to the left. Computer core, Nova Cross Passage, Stroud Infirmary. On the other side, we go from workshop to captain's quarters. At the front, we're attaching Nova Cross Passage to our science lab. So this is one straight shot across here. At the very front, science lab. Through our passage to our captain's quarters. There's going to be a hatch here into the workshop, another hatch out into our computer core, straight across into a cross passage to our infirmary. And that's that. Very easy to navigate. And I can explain why once I get the top layer uh, on here. So moving on to the top. <sighs> what a doozy this was to figure out too. Um, there's going to be cross passages here with Deimos holes covering them, you know, duplicated like we did before. Um, but for the top, we're going to have a companion way. This is going to sit right here, right, right on top of the workshop at the front. Um, well, mainly because we need a way to access our bridge. Of course, it won't let me put it on until I take the uh, lasers off. Anyway, this is going to get attached to our Deimos companion way. Now, these Dragon 251 UV lasers. Um... I don't get the, oh, it's too far forward. This goes back here. There we go. <laughs> Demos companion way is going to sit right on top of the back of the workshop. I apologize. I'm stupid. Very tired. And that's that. Um, let's just go over the rest of the top because this is uh, a bit complicated. Oh, hold on. Bear with me. My brain's kind of uh, mush at the moment. 
All right, so we start with a Deimos companion way. This was originally attached to the Deimos uh, DS40.2 Aries bridge because so I built this off of the um, I built this off the Deimos bridge. All right, so Deimos bridge to companion way, then to the Deimos armory behind that. Um. This hole wasn't here yet. I'm just going to take this all off so I can show you all what I'm talking about here. That's why you're not confused. I'll put all the holes together. Alright, so we had a companion way to our armory, right? Now, I originally had Deimos companion ways between these on each layer, and it was just throwing ladders all over the place so like the only way to access the right side of the ship would be to go to this companion way and down the ladder you couldn't access the left side at all so you had to go through all this come back because there'd be two ladders here and here for no reason at all because well both of these ladders would access the two halves on top it was ridiculous so anyway and it will be the same on the right side. If you have all these companion ways on your ship, like one here on this layer, and then one here on the bottom layer, like underneath this, it will create a ladder here, a ladder here, a ladder here. All these ladders across, and not all of the ladders will let you... Oh my god, it was a pain. But anyway, um, it took me a few tries to figure out how to get this all accessible through one central ladder in the middle and then use all these passageways to get across each layer. That's it. Um, but companion way one by one to Deimos Armory. Two by one. Nova Cross Passage on the right. Two. All in one berth. Two by one. Now at the back of that, we're going to have a, another Nova Cross Passage. Going to our three by one living quarters on this side. Now from our Deimos Armory, again the front entrance goes out to the back entrance of the all in one berth, to the back entrance, to the back entrance of the living quarters. Now from our armory again, front entrance to the rear side door of the Deimos control station, Nova Passageway. That rear entrance again another nova cross passage to the rear entrance of the <clears throat> excuse me deimos engineering bay a three by one you could make that a b because you know we have the cross passages yeah i want b screw that a crap well then again for the aesthetic of here uh b is a little too bright anyway whatever <clears throat> now Oh, all the cosmetics that went into this. Um, there's none on the bottom except for the uh, Nova Cowling 2L bottom aft. All right, so we'll go left to right here. So our engineering bay A. In the front, Nova Cowling 2L starboard 4. In the back, Nova Cowling 2L starboard aft now attached to the outside before we go to the inside we're going to have these nova cowling 1Ls again starboard aft flip the variant to starboard mid flip the variant to starboard 4 alright on the inside between every hab in the front aside from the armory that has a two by uh, one by one companion way. Everything else is Deimos hull, all in one berth, Deimos hull, living quarters. This side, companion way, Deimos hull, control station, Deimos hull, engineering bay. Right? So every other gap is Deimos hull. Alright, so moving on, uh, we did. Engineering Bay, Nova Cowling 2L, Starboard Aft, and Starboard 4. Then 
Nova Cali 1L, starboard 4, starboard mid, starboard aft. Now on this rear Nova Cowling, we're going to have Nova Cowling 1L, port aft, just to give it that kind of curve here. In the front, we're going to use a Deimos bumper, port 4. All right, then moving to the control station. It gets a little more complicated here, but... Take it slow. In front of the Deimos control station, we have the Nova Cowling 2L starboard 4. Attached to it, Nova Cowling 1L port 4. Go back to our control station here. We're going to have a Stroud Cat B starboard aft. Behind that Stroud cap, starboard aft, Nova Cowling 2L, starboard aft. Okay. I'm not going to get to the rear yet. We still have more to go over up here. Now again, control station, Deimos Hull A, companionway, Deimos Hull A. And here's our all-in-one berth, 2 by one Deimos. In front of that, <clears throat> Nova Cowling 2L, port 4. Attached to it, Nova Cowling 1L, starboard 4. Going back through all this, we're going to have a Stroud Cap B, port aft. And behind that, Nova Cowling 2L, port aft. Now, again, we have our cross passage, our Deimos hull, living quarters. Now our living quarters, three by one in the front. Nova Cowling 2L, port four. Now to the back, Nova Cowling 2L, port aft. And attached to the inside of the living quarters, three by one. Deimos bumper, starboard four. Same as the other side with the engineering bay. Right here is going to be a, a port four, starboard aft on the opposite side. Back through our Nova Cowling. Living quarters, three by one, our other Nova Cowling. We're going to have a Nova Cowling 1L, not a 2L, a 1L, starboard aft right here. Now our living quarters 3x1 on the outside is more of the Nova Cowling 1Ls. So we have a Nova Cowling 1L port aft, port mid, and port 4. Right? Port aft, port mid, port 4 for the Nova Cowling 1L. <clears throat> uh, um, going back to our center. I know I forgot some stuff here. Our companionway one by one. Deimos armory two by one. Deimos hull on top too. So we have one on top and the, I think the landing gear or another hull on the bottom. And at the back, we're going to have a Nova Cowling 2L top aft. Because I like how it gives it that slight point compared to using like, let's say, a uh, Hope Tech fuselage cross passage and a Deimos wing or Deimos tail A that just looked ugly I hated it I couldn't figure out how to make it look better so I just went with the Nova Cowlings the two L's just because you know it gave a better aesthetic that's all I can say <clears throat> now <clears throat> we have two more let me flip around here we have two more SA 4330 engines on the top, except you can see that they're flipped. So the variant, that curve is going downward toward the inside. Right. And you'll see in a minute why I did it that way. Um, instead of making a mess of everything. Now in front of that, you know, the 92 mobility from this comes from having 
two. 30T, 30T hauler cargo holds. Now that's where the, the killer for our mobility came from. Or the... Keep using words I'm not supposed to use. That's where we get the hit to mobility. It's from these 30T hauler cargo holds. Now I have them situated in a way that... That angle is facing away from the armory. Right, so this one is this way. Notice how that angle is going away from the armory. I think when you buy these, yeah, they're this way. With that angle going downwards. Let's select that Y, Y. So you flip it twice and you get the outer variant. Um, this one... You just flip once and you get that inner variant or like the other variants where you know angle out angle out so angle out left angle out right all right now before i continue um we don't really need these i can just show you from here um we'll start on this side on the very right wing duplicate the hole up Duplicate it, pull it forward. Now this one you have to select the bottom hole and the top hole. Go back here, duplicate down, and you're done. So now that Nova Cross passage is hidden so that you won't see any gaps as you're flying around. Same thing here, duplicate up, duplicate forward, select that one. Select the bottom hole, duplicate, made a place, and now you can delete them. That's covered. Now again, we have hole, ab, hole, companionway, hole, ab, hole, ab. So we're going to duplicate up and place it, and duplicate, place it forward, select the one in the back, Select the one hole on the bottom. Stay here with the cursor. Duplicate. Place. Now we can delete the extra ones. Right? One last one right here. Duplicate up in place. Duplicate. Pull it back. Place it. Select that one in the back. Go back forward. Select the one on the bottom. Duplicate. Place. I delete this one, this one, and the other on top. And now, you're covered. Alright. Um, you don't have to build it separately. Uh, you can do this however you want. But, um... Uh, let's just do this. Select it all. Grab it. It might not. Oh, there's so much going on with this. It just won't let me do it. Oh. Yeah, it won't let me place it. So I'm just going to have to exit modifications, do this, go back in. So this will be the finished uh, product, right? Just without the weapons. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. Now, with all that being said, I still have the other demo spines to go over. So on every hab, there is a demo spine A at the very front, right? Um, I technically don't need this spine C because I put all my weapons underneath. So for all case and point and purposes, we're gonna do spine A's behind that spine B, and we're gonna have a spine A flipped aft. We do that. Well, this is on the living quarters three by one and uh, um on the all-in-one berth two by one that goes back onto the stroud cap b because this can't attach so you can just place this highlight these duplicate it and then drop it over here and you can probably you can highlight duplicate and then put it onto the control station over here 
that attaches to our Stroud Cap B aft and the 3x1 engineering bay on the end. I'm not using C's. A aft, spine B, spine A4. Now for the middle, all you do is add a second uh, demo spine B. It'll be demo spine A4, demo spine B, demo spine B, demo spine A aft. Now just to be sure, yeah, on the bottom here is a Eculander 11 landing gear. On the top is a Deimos hull. And here's our Nova Cowling 2L top aft and bottom aft. Just to give you all a, oh, I forget that the builder controls are very different. This is just the overall look of my, my version of the Batwing. I mean, you might hate it. You could probably, um, take these Deimos bumper port fours out and maybe uh, before I continue this, there's a trick I had to do with that too. But you can do a Nova Cowling 1 LPF or port 4. Um, copy this Nova Cowling 1 L starboard mid. Flip it. Drop it there if you want. Um, that's up to you. I didn't want to do that. There's enough curvature. Okay, now. This Deimos bumper port four goes right there in the corner in front of our hull against our engineering bay. Now for some reason it worked on starboard but it wouldn't place here. I said what the hell. So I had to drop it, pick it up, make sure you hear that noise. Now we're going to why to flip, why to flip, B to cancel. Because for some reason over here, it didn't want to work. It drove me up a wall. Okay, now we're going to get into, yeah, the final piece would be getting this DS40.2 Aries bridge attached to our companionway, which is in front of our armory here. Right, so ship bed landing bay. We see the front half of the workshop. Here's our companion way. Bang. Bridge goes on. Now for weapons, I'm probably going to end up changing these out. So you guys can all, guys and gals, can all change this out to be you know, whatever you want to be for weapons. This is just what I did. For now, because I'm still experimenting, I'm still deciding whether I want to stick with Class B or, you know, move some things around in the middle and put a Class C reactor with a B grab job. So I'm, I'm still deciding. So you guys can do, guys and gals can do whatever you like. Um, on the top and bottom of the Deimos Wing A port and Wing A starboard, I have the Dragon 251 UV lasers. Now notice how laser damage down the bottom of the screen here. Um, for this left, next to the description here, it's lasers are only 42. I don't like that. That's not enough damage. But top and bottom we have the Dragon 251 UV lasers. It's not glitched or anything. These just go right on. Okay, so I have four PBO... 175 helion beams not the autos these regular ones do more damage at a lower fire rate but they do more damage so on this nova cowling 1l starboard 4 attached to our control station 2x1 underneath is our two pb 175 helion beams right now our Nova Cowling 2L port 4 attached to our all-in-one berth 2x1 front and back attachment points. Oh Jesus. That one. And that one. There's two more EB-175s. 
You might have a hard time here because of this dang thing. But I have, uh, for right now, Jishako Anigo Railgun. Um, hole damage 42.9. Uh, fire rate 2.5, a range of 1,000. I have two of those top and bottom attached to a Horizon weapon mount. See, now I can't put it back on. I hate this. Um, Horizon weapon mount. I'm going to delete the top one. Horizon weapon mount goes right on this inside attachment point of the Stroud Cap A. We'll port for bottom. Right on the bottom. So it's, you know, kind of hidden by the uh, Deimos bumper. Now, in order to get this to attach up here, you just highlight the weapon. Hit Y. Lifts up and turns green. And hit A to place. And it's there. I think this side was a bit different. But we have a <clears throat> horizon weapon mount attached to this inner attachment point. If you guys can, guys and girls can see it. Or if you all can see it. I'm just going to say y'all. If y'all can see it. It's just easier for me to do it that way. <laughs> anyway. This goes right in here. You see that? You see how this turned green? And it worked. But over here, for some reason. Ugh. No, it just doesn't want to work. I have to delete the top, place it, Y to duplicate, and then place it again. I don't get it. And I didn't have to flip this one. It just goes on. So something about this this whole ship builder is off. Look, see now I can't put it on again. Flip. Flip. Cancel. Something's wrong with this ship builder, I'm telling you. There's a lot of bugs in here. Um, but anyway, this is my version of a Batwing. Look at that bad boy. That's dead sexy. Alright, so going down, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, oh, I'll stay up on this level. Drop one. See how I had the engines flip the way they're flipped? So they're pretty much this bottom edge curving out up and in toward the Deimos hull matches up on both top and bottom engines here and here. Now if you look at how these are flipped, right, you can only see like that little edge right there. But if I take this off, you see how it angles out and up. So it's, it's decently hidden. And same thing over here. Pull this. Nova Cowling 2L. Starboard aft. And the Cap B. And see how this engine curves out and up. Uh, I, I had to flip these engines so many times to try and come up with something. It just drove me up a wall. Um... This took so long to figure out. I was... Ugh. But aside from the weapons, I'm pretty content with it. Alright, that is the finished product. That is our more modern, upgraded Batwing. Um, I'm not going to play with it now, but I think I am going to go for a Class C reactor. Oh, Class B graph drive. I think what I might do is... Um, actually, no. We're not going to do that. i got to take it for a test drive. We're already at 44 minutes of all this explanation to y'all. We're going to go look around at the inside here. And I'll show you why I did the Nova Cross passages the way I did. I have things for you. What's no. Happening, darling? <sighs> Daryl, we're breaking up. I'm oh, Mary Andreja. She don't bug me as much as you do. <laughs> anyway, no, that's wrong. She's uh, she's ex-military as well. Um, I joined UC and in a past life, I'm ex-military. So we load into our landing bay. 
Here's our docking bridge access, right? Man, the galaxy's and too big from to be stuck here, in the same place. there is a ladder, but this only goes to a companion way to our cockpit. So we're gonna hatch here and a hatch here. See? Now we go left. And we're into our captain's quarters, right? We go this way. What the heck is this? I think something might have gone wrong. Oh, I know. Hold on. Before I go doing this for you all, I, I think I see what happened here. Dang it. Got anything you need to offload? Sure. How about it? Thing bugged out on me. Let's see. Is there anything glitched inside of anything? No, right? I didn't save any modifications or anything. Something wrong with this thing. Oh, uh, whatever. I walked through this earlier and uh, that wasn't a problem. Anyway, into our workshop, make a right, just run through this crap. And we're into our science lab. Alright, that's all there is to it. This, I'll figure out later. Something went wrong. Look, let's just walk through it all. Because there's really nothing there except for one cross passage. Go this way. This is weird. Didn't happen before. Here we are in our computer core. Hang a right, go through this glitchy crap again, and into our infirmary. Right? Run through, run through, up our center ladder. There's our cockpit, right? Oh, what am I doing? Up here, we turn around into our armory. Now we're gonna. Why is this thing glitching? It's weird. That wasn't like that before. Anyway, we're gonna. Here's our Deimos armory. Hang a left. Walk through. Here's our Deimos control station. Go through this way. And here's our 3x1 engineering bay. Go run back through to the other side. Dang it, Sarah, move. All right, so we're Demos Armory. We're gonna hang out this way into our two by one, all in one berth. Go this way into our three by one living quarters. Now you all see why I did what I did with the, uh, the cross passages. And now we can just Go through this way. Only one central ladder, and that's it. I might have to remove those Deimos hulls that I duplicated down and redo it just because it I probably did it once and then I was showing you all what to do, and then yeah, that didn't work so well. But we're gonna take off. Do a little test. Something my shields a little bit. And watch our Batwing MK7 fly off. Now we're at 233, just cruising speed. Let's see where we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine twenty-three, nine twenty-two. Not bad. All right, we're gonna take a little ride, do a quick demo in Pentis, and then I'll let you all go because uh, we're going on an hour now. Um, 
Take a little out of engines and put that into a uh, grav. If anyone comes out. Ah. Where are you at? Okay, those are plenty powerful. <laughs> I mean, it was a level 32, but you know. Alright, let's see if we can't find. Yep, we'll do this and then we'll call it. Uh, I did say this was going to be a bit of a long video to try to explain how I put that together. And this demo is going to be a doozy. I can't see where I'm going here. Like a bat. we were near a bright planet so I could just do a <laughs> anyway I think that's good enough right there so we're gonna go into photo mode here and jump up to the top Batman in the star field there we go perfect well you know, I hope you all enjoyed the video I know it was long but, you know, I had to do it for explanation and showing y'all, you know, what I did, how I did it. And hopefully those cross passages don't do what they did to me, to you. Um, if they do, just remove the Deimos holes and, um, that are over the passages and that's it. All right. Well, I thank you all for taking this uh, little bit of time to uh, check this out. Um, take a look at what's going on. See a beautiful Batwing replica right here. Now definitely if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, definitely let me know what you think in the comments, aside from the little passage glitch. Don't mention that, I know I was embarrassed by it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll thank y'all for checking this out and taking the time, and I'll see you all on the next one.